Mike Kliss joins us now. And Mike, let's hope the Broncos GM can get some Z's today because starting tomorrow, it's full speed ahead. Break down the itinerary for us. Yeah, fill her up. Fill up that uh, flex jet that these guys take. Uh, starts tomorrow in Dallas. They fly to take on the the two, uh, at least one of the leaders, Dan Quinn, defensive coordinator for the Cowboys, Kellen Moore, offensive coordinator. So you, you can knock off two with uh, one location there. Then Wednesday they go east. You got Pat's inside linebacker coach Jared Mayo in Boston. Then they go to Philly real quick and get the defensive coordinator for the Eagles, Jonathan Gannon. On Thursday, they may have to go cross-country to L.A. to get Rams offensive coordinator Kevin O'Connell. Since the offensive coordinator Brian Callahan, logistics may make that a Zoom interview. They're still trying to work all that out. And then Friday, they go to KC uh, to see the Chiefs offensive coordinator Eric Bieniemy, who uh, didn't hurt himself last night with that 42-point performance. Saving the best for last. All right, now let's get into the ownership issue. Joel said this will be resolved after a coach's name. Mike, you had an interesting article on 9news.com today talking about John Elway's interest. Yeah, I was talking to John about all kinds of things, and he kind of dropped it on me that uh, he uh, wants to be part of the ownership group. Now, we've reported before that John was going to, uh, was looking to get in, but this was John himself going on record for the first time and saying, yeah, he definitely wants to be a part of it in an advisory consultant type role like he is now. His lead role days, his face of the franchise days, he said is behind him. When the owner puts up $4 billion, it's going to be his team, his or her team. So uh, he's willing to take a supporting role, but he still wants to be part of it. And frankly, after 40 years and all he's done for the franchise, he probably deserves it. Sure does. Hey, Mike, final thing for you. I thought it was interesting yesterday. You broke the news about the auction going to the highest bidder. A, does the NFL, though, still have uh, any say on who the owner can be? And B, is it a guarantee the Broncos stay in Denver with that scenario? Well, the last one first, um, I'm out of a job if they move. So, no, so they're not I. moving, Rod. <laughs> they're, staying, they're staying here in Denver. And, uh, and secondly, um, as, as, you know, as far as the NFL can reject the highest bid, but otherwise it's about the highest bid. They have the uh, duty to the beneficiaries to get the most money they can, and that's the seven Boland children and Uncle John, John Boland, uh, Pat's brother. Good, Mike. Thank you so much. We'll have much more with Mike coming up tonight at 9 and 10 o'clock.